Hello everyone. Welcome back to the lecture series on the course ARM controller. We are in the last session of unit 3. That is session 8. Unit 3 is introduction to thumb and ARM programming. Okay. In the previous session, uh, we had uh, seen program to sort an array of 32-bit numbers in ascending and descending order. Also, program to disassemble a byte into its higher and lower nibble. So, in today's session, we are going to write the program to search for a given 32-bit number in an array of 32-bit numbers and program to scan a series of 32-bit numbers and to find how many are negative. We'll see. So, the first program is program to search for a given 32-bit number in an array of 32-bit numbers. So, there is an array of 32-bit numbers and we need to search for a given number, whether that number is present in that array or not. So, the description of the program is number to be searched is stored at first memory location pointed by R0. So, we are using R0 as a pointer register to point to the memory location where these numbers are stored. And the array of numbers are stored at consecutive locations, one after the other. If the given number is found in the array, so our program is to search for a given number. If the number we are searching is found in the array, what we are going to do? We are going to store FFFF, FFFF in register R5. Else, if we do not find that number in the array, we are going to store 00, 0 in R5. Let us see. How to write the program? So the steps or algorithm. So first we need to load the first number from the array. This is the number to be searched in the array. Okay. So in that array or in that memory location, wherever the value is stored, the first number we are taking is the number to be searched. Okay. The first number in the array is the number which we are going to search in the array. After taking that number, what we are going to do? We are going to compare this number with each of the array element. Okay. We will take the first number, which is the number to be searched. And after that, we are going to compare that number with each of the array element. So, Elithan ka compare markon hok tivi, a number namige sikotanaka. Atava, end of the array reachagotanaka. A number sig podu atava, sig the nair podu. Nama array nali a number, ir podu atava, ir den ir podu, il den ir podu. So a number sig kitre, now allige stop mativi comparison. Sigilantandre, full array elements jute, comparison mark on hook tivi. Finally, sig tu anta hedre. If the search number is found in the array, we'll store this value FFFF in the register R5. Or else we'll store the value zero. Okay, we'll see the program. So area we're defining the area and we have named it as program code read only entry assembler directive. So LDR R0 comma lookup. So we are pointing using R0 register to the lookup. Lookup is the address or the name given to the memory location where the array elements are stored. So we are loading the address of the lookup table into the register R0. Then load the array of numbers. This is the count. How many numbers are there in the array? That count is we have taken in the register R3. So R3 gives the total number of elements in the array. Then load first 32-bit number into register R1. We are using the instruction LDR load register R1 with the value in the memory location which is pointed by register R0. And this is the number to be searched in the array. So the number to be searched is there in the register R1. Then we need to point to next memory location. We took the first number which is the number to be searched. Next we have to compare that number with the rest of the array elements. So what we are going to do? We are going to increment the pointer by four memory locations. So 
point to next 32 bit number in the array. We are going to add 4 to the register R0 so that it will point to the next element in the array. Then we are taking that value into the register R2. So here we are loading the 32 bit number into the register R2. This is the first element of the array. Next, we are comparing. We are comparing the values in R1 and R2. So in R1, we have the number to be searched. And in R2, we have the number from the array. So we are comparing. So what is next? We'll get two answers. So in this uh, program, either uh, it will be the compared number will be equal to the uh, array element or not equal. So we have two options. We're going to check for that. Branch if equal to. If for the first time when we are comparing, if we find that the number is equal, that means if the search number is found, what we will do? We will go to the label named store. So in the first step itself, if we get the number which we are searching, we first time comparison a number program stop next number jothe compare maadadana continue maadkoond hoogtivi. So if equal, we will jump to the label store. If not, siglilla namge first time compare maadadaga siglilla andaga yen maadadivi, e counter na decrement maadkoondtivi. So we have the counter in R3. We are going to decrement it. Adina one the uh, less maadkoondtivi. So we have five elements in the array. One number jothe comparison aadadu. So we'll decrement the counter in four comparisons back either. Next, compare R3 with zero. So this thing has to be repeated till R3 becomes zero. First time, subtraction marthaka 5 is the 4 agate, next to 4 is the 3 agate. So elitan kagate number, sigotan kagate, atava R3 0 agatan kanapura comparison continue of the hobita. Branch if not equal to search. So R30 Aglila and Tandre in Martivi. Again, we go back to the label search. Matte increment Martivi will take the next element from the array. Then we are going to compare equally three stop Martivi, store Madakoktivi. If not, we'll decrement the counter and repeat this process. So if the number is found, we are going to store zero. So if the number is found. Okay, so Ella element. Sorry, if the number is not found, I repeat, if the number is not found. So E line again now paradu yavaganta heladre. Ella array elements within compare maadi. Namge number sickly lanta daga. We are going to store 0, 0 in R5. Next, branch to stop. So Illi branch if equal store yavak parate store label ike namige namige search martairo number sikdaka. It will come to the label store. Illa in martai divi move R5 ge FF 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 akontar. If the number is found, we are going to move this value to R5. If the number is not found, we are going to move 0, 0 to register R5. Okay. So stop B, stop. So next we'll see. So this is the lookup uh, address. From starting from this memory location, the array elements are stored. In that first uh, element is the number to be searched and the consecutive numbers are the uh, elements in the array. Fine. So this is how it looks when we type the program. Next. So we can see here, this is the number to be searched. Five is the number to be searched and the array elements are four, seven, five, two. Okay, so after execution, what happens? We are searching for five and we have this five in the array. So what happens? R5 will be loaded with FFFF. FFF. The search number is found in the array. So we have another case wherein the search number 
is not there in the array. So now search matter number illan tanre. So I got two search matter. The array elements only five, three, four, eight. Ida. So illi nami ke number illa two number illa. So what happens? R five will be loaded with value zero. Okay. So one do when if the number is found and the other output is if the number is not found in the array. Fine. We'll move on to the next program. So next program is the program to scan a series of 32-bit numbers to find out how many are negative. So uh, we are going to scan an array of numbers and we'll see among them how many numbers are negative. Yes, two uh, numbers are negative. We will check it. So uh, array elements are pointed by register R0. R0 is used as a pointer register to point to the memory location. Count L it called TV now, R1 L it TV. So finally, R1 will hold the number. How many are negative and the count R1 L it the length of the array is in register R2. So H2 numbers is the number R1 L it the count 1 bit to R2 register L it So we we'll see the steps. Load each of the array element to a register and compare it with 0. So what we are going to do is, one on the array element na to one register ke, adhin na we are going to compare it with zero. Then, if the result of comparison is positive or zero, keep looping. So, compare maadi aad mele result ena adhru positive aagidre, adhava zero aagidre. Adhu positive number ena adhru indicate maadite. So, we will keep looping. Bere number na to kundu, matta adhina zero jate compare maadta hoogte. Else, if the number is negative, illa namke negative bandhu anthandre. Compare maadthaga negative bandhre. Now when maadthi we will increment the negative counter and keep looping till the end of the array. So when the negative number sikki takshana, what we will do is we will increment the counter. Adhikki in 30 register the counter na increment maadko uthi we. Matthe next number na to kondo adhu kura continue maadko undo hoopthi we. So program na odana. So load the address of the lookup table. Array elements zero in the memory location in the not in the point. Next. So we are clearing the register R1. Okay, using XOR operation. Ili move R1 comma zero on the kuda mark Or you can XOR. So if we perform XOR operation between the same value, the answer will be zero. So here we are clearing the R1 register to store the result. Result. How many are negative and other store mark or the kin of R1 clear money it can be next. So length of the array numbers or the total count is taken in the register R2. Then take the data. So we are taking the first number from the memory location, which is pointed by register R0 into register R3. Number to kondvi next in man beko. Yes, we need to compare it. We need to compare it with 0. 0 jote compare maadhi. 0 idre atthava 0 kinta jasthi e nagatthe idre namge positive anta artha. 0 kinta kadime idre adho negative anta artha. So, BPL use maadhi adhi vi. So, skip next line if positive or Zero PL and the hedre plus positive. So positive with Renavadana in Madodilla. Negative with Rematra in negative counter na increment mark on to So BPL branch positive or zero plus idre. It will branch to loop test. If not, what we need to do, we need to increment the counter R1. Adu negative with the Avaga now counter na increment mark beko. So next line line martha divi. If it is not positive, we are going to increment the register R1. Next loop test line in the e label lo. branch if positive idre, illiparate, negative idre, it will go and increment the counter. Next to one the number I to next number to call beko. So R0 na increment mark all the so that it will point to the Next memory location or the second data in the array. Next, the counter length. 
length of the array or the total numbers in the array counter any R2 nali adhina decrement mark koltivi branch if not equal to loop so this process will be repeated till all the array elements are compared with zero compare mark koltivi positive atthava zero bandre enu maada dila nao next array element na togon matte compare mark koltivi koltivi negative bandre maathre en mark koltivi we will increment the counter kept for that purpose that is r1 so last ige namge r1 nalli irutte the number s to negative ide annodu number namge r1 register alli irutte what we will do we will store that to the memory location pointed by r0 array elements ella end admele last memory location en irutte allige namu ee count na store maadi idtivi okay so we'll see Table initially R not table point मरता है तो E memory location अली नम्म array elements इदे table of values to be scanned next इली length तो कोंड़ इदी R2 register के A value एन 4 इली नवो 4 elements ना तो कोंड़ इदी इस number बेक कदरु नाविली तो कोल पोदु for simplicity purpose I have taken it as 4 okay so type माड़ी रो program हो नेक्स्ट इो सिंपल नंबर्स तक लिटल इंडियन फार्मेटली मेमोरी विंडो बिफोर एक्सिक्यूशन यंबर एफ एफ इीरो नमेटिव नगटिव अंत ना हे फैंडी प्रोग्राम पीपीएल यूज इफ दीट नगटिव सो इंबर नावीटिटी पर्पसिटिव थ्री जीरो जीरो वन वन इट इस पॉजिटिव सो इगा टू नंबर्स आर नेगेटिव सो आफ्टर एक्सेक्यूशन नम्बर के लास्ट मेम लोकेशन लेन सेवा की दे नंबर टू सेवा की दे अब दा दैट मींस इन द टोटल अरे एलिमेंट्स टू नंबर्स आर नेगेटिव आधे आंसर नम्बर के लिए वेते आर वन रजिस्ट्रली बंद करते अब दा वी कैन सी हे so these are the program so in exam they may ask questions like this uh, write an lp to search for a given 32 bit number in an array of 32 bit numbers matte scan idu kuda hage write an lp to scan a series of 32 bit numbers to find out how many are negative okay next coming to quiz okay so what will be the value in register r not after the execution of the following program enagutte r not नोडी आर नाट इनिशियल इट इस फोर जीरो 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 आर टू वन वैल्यू आर थ्री वन वैल्यू तो कौन दी नेक्स्ट नवीन में याव इंस्ट्रक्शन यूज़ मारी दी वी स्टोर मल्टीपल इंक्रीमेंट आफ्टर एंड यू हैव टू अब्जर्व हियर आर नाट आदमी ले एक्सप्लेनेटरी मार की दे अंतरे आर नाट रजिस्टर � Sorry, it is store. It will store the value and then increment this value. Yes, two registers in the value na store mark tai divi. Yer registers in the store mark tai divi. So, H T S L increment agatte. Yes, it will get incremented twice. E memory location ke four zero zero memory location one value agatte increment maratte. Four zero zero four memory location one value agatte increment maratte. So finally, R not will contain. Four zero 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 eight. Since this exclamatory mark is there, next, what will be the value in register R not after the execution of the following program? So, illa na gatte same thing difference yeno exclamatory mark is not present. Yes, illu kuda store a gatte increment after mark but to store mark the values na, but R not will not get updated because it. Doesn't have the exclamatory mark. Or the law update a go thela. Next, the ability to shift or rotate in the same instruction. 
along with other operation is performed with the help of switching circuit, barrel shifter circuit, integrated switching circuit, multiplexer circuit. Yeah, yes, it is barrel shifter circuit. I'm going to separate hardware unit day. How there are barrel shifter circuit. Right. Next. The BEQ instruction is used to check the equality condition between the operands and then branch, to check if the operand is greater than the condition value and then branch, to check if the flag Z is set to one and then causes branch, none of the mentioned. So yeah, do. Yes, it is to check if the flag Z is set to one and then cause branch. So BEQ bandaga the yaw flag na hook check marate. Yes, it is checking for equality, but adu branch agadu yaudna nodi it sees the Z flag in the CPSR. Adunna no bit to branch agadu. Fine, we'll move on. The pseudo instruction used to load an address into the register is load an address. Option A load, B ADR, C assign, D PS load. Yes, we have used this instruction, right? It is ADR. It loads the address into the register and it is a pseudo instruction. Next, what will be the value in register R1 after the execution of the following program? So value in Kotidar Nodi R12 Tagondidare. R2 na in Martadre logical shift left is to salam eight times. So eight bit positions now left again Mumar called TV. Avaga value in Baratinamike. Yes, it is option C. Eight bit positions. Right. Eight bit positions and related to Yes. What is the significance of exclamatory mark in the load store instruction? Previous example hello, explain my detail. Yes. If it is there, it will update the base register. But yaudrali pre-indexed load store. So it will update the base register in pre-indexed load store. Next. So the address and contents of the address number location are given here. If R0 has the value 24, R0 24 is there. What is the content of R12 after executing the following instruction? LDRB R12, comma, bracketally R0, comma, hash 2. So, ya value barate, R0 in value is 24 is there. So, Ili first R0 ya memory location point marate, alli value R12 ke barate. And then we will get the value 6. Amele R0 will be incremented by 2. Next memory location ke point marate. Yes. Next, the address system supported by ARM system is Little Indian, Big Indian, X Little Indian, both Little and Big Indian. Yes, both the formats are supported. Little Indian support marate, Big Indian support marate. Next, risk stands for last session. Reduced instruction set computer. Yes. So we have come to the end of the session. These are the reference books, textbooks, and reference materials. Yes, it's time to, it is time to thank all the content developers, mentors for contributing in the content development of ARM controller. I thanks one and all. Also, I thank you for listening to my lecture. Once again, thank you, one and all.